Hey friends, Red Specs Gaming here. Welcome back to Tribe Primitive Builder. So today we're going to work a little bit on automating the tribe a bit more. Uh, in between episodes I went and I collected quite a lot of material here. You can see about 300 or more of each thing except for stone, which we won't need as much stone as the other stuff. Um, and I want to get to where the tribe themselves can make their own tools and they start collecting items for us. So if we take a look at the tribe tab here, you can see right now they're doing all right. The fisher's hut still has three spears that they're working with. The cook's hut has five blades and then they have created 72 food and they've got 99 uh, fish in stock and then they're working with that 99 out of the uh, out of the, the storage area here. And um, I've got this limited at the fishing hut. If you hit this drop down here, you can see you can set a production cap here and I've set it at 100 because I don't want them to overflow our, our storage with fish by just continuously working. Which is why you'll see this marker here, production stopped. It's just kind of letting you know, hey, they're not doing anything right now, which that's okay. At the fishing hut, it doesn't matter. Uh, they don't need to do anything except just keep our, our fish up to 100. So we're going to speak with the elder here and get the next part of this going. And then we're going to head over and probably unlock some new things here. So let's see what he has to say. What brings you to me, fellow exile? I took care of food. Good! Now just remember, the tribe needs to eat. I will watch them closely so they don't eat more than one ration per day, but you need to bring food so the tribe focuses on work and doesn't start to wander. One more thing, fellow exile. As the tribe grows, you simply cannot carry all the resources yourself. It does take a lot of my time. It already takes a lot of my time, and the Fire Mountain is still angry. Indeed. I think it is time that you appoint our first carrier. You can use the village storage under the bell fires. Uh, we already did this one, I think. We'll skip through here. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you for the gift of your wisdom. Alright, now we report back. I found the right carrier. There we go. Now that you don't have to worry about food, we need to grow our tribe if we're going to survive. Fire Mountain is inevitable. God's willing, we can build the grand boat of your vision and survive. Talk to our scout. He will help you find more exiles on the island. I'm on it. Alright, and so what this is telling us here, let's just go ahead and get out of there, is that we need to get more people. And the way we do this is we talk to the scout here. Hello, fresh meat. I hear you're a new builder. Good, I cannot even tie a knot, but my eyes are hawk-like. Moments ago I saw a tide man at the mouth of the river. Find him. Offer him our help while I search for others. We need good workers. I will find him. Okay, so now what we do is we talk to him, and he gives us little markers where people are can be found, right? And we go there and we can get those people and bring them back to our village. The thing is, is we need homes for people to sleep in. Now, you can get them and they'll come back, and your numbers, if you look at your tribe here, will go up but you'll be out of sleeping places and then you can't assign them anywhere to work. So you may as well build them homes first. And one of the spots that I l like is if we come over this way and we follow this, this direction here, there's a road down by the river here. You see, they kind of follow through this little pathway here. You come into this field and this is a good field for building because it's a nice area, it's flat. One of the other things that's great about this field is you'll find there's lots of herbs here. And you're going to need herbs, so this is a good field to come get your herbs um, when, you're, when you're wanting to stock up. But what we're going to do is, I'm going to start with, uh, let's build them some... This is the road they walk up. Let's build them some homes here along this road. Give them some river front, riverfront property. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this grass out of the way. And then if we hit Q... When we go to private, you have sleeping huts. And then we should be able to put these alongside here. Let's find the right the right angle. See, it comes up into there. It gets a little too close. So right there is fine. We'll put one right there is good. And then we build that out real quick. Just kind of scrub the mouse along here.
Then they show up at the top next. Alright, what did I miss? I missed one somewhere over here. There we go. I'm gonna put the grass into place. We put our leaves on top. And done. And you see this gives, I think, three sleeping places. So if we look, we went from four to seven. So you get three sleeping places per hut. This is the way that works. So I'm going to build a couple more here. So we don't have to keep doing this. Because we're going to collect a bunch of people so that we can work. So let's do, let's do another one here. Right next door. Neighbors. There works. I'm getting tired. Building is one of those things that eats a lot of stamina, I've noticed. Um, hopefully as we build more, that stamina reduction lowers. We're going to have to go take a midday nap, I believe. All the work really drains your character. Alright, there's a the second one. Let's go take us a nap. Actually, we'll take a nap right here. These are huts. Let's have a nice little nap. We'll 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 sleep until say 8 p.m. We need to get something to drink. Let's grab some water real fast. Might as well grab these grass while we're here, keep our supplies up. I think we're still doing pretty good on grass, though. I just figured it was right here, you know? There we go. So that gives us another six sleeping spots. Let's go for nine. Let's do one more here. That way we've got plenty of space for newcomers. Right there. I had a nice spot right there. Where'd it go? Right there. Alright. So we've got three sleeping huts here. Nice riverfront property. That gives us, looking at our tribe menu, 13 sleeping places. So we've got plenty of room for people to move in here. So now we can go to this spot that he gave us. And let's have a nice bite to eat, get our health up. Let's find these people that the scout has found for us. Be down here at the end of the river, it looks like. And what will happen is you'll come in, and normally it'll be a group of three. But I think since this is the tutorial part of it, you're just going to find the one. So if we talk to this guy, he'll say, help me. Be calm, and I will. You saved me. Not for free. You may have a chance to work with our tribe, but only if you're willing to work hard. Find our elder in the cave by the village. Anything you ask. Thank you, thank you. Basically, the guy that found us on the river, we just became that guy. <laughs> so we find new people. So now, we go back and talk to the scout. And he'll give us, he'll start giving us the real scouting. That's where he spots three at a time. Luckily, we've got food built up, so getting new people is not a big deal. Did you help the Tide Man? Yes, he is one of us now. The tribe grows. The tribe grows indeed. I can only look. I can look for others in my patrol. Find me if you need new recruits. Meanwhile, the elder's looking for you. Do not make him wait. I will go to him. Alright, so we gotta talk to the Elder, complete that quest, and then we can come back and talk to the Scout again. I'll run over here to the Elder. Got a bush, Elder. Have you spoken to our Scout? Yes. But he said you were looking for me. Ah, the tribe grows stronger. Make him feel at home before he can be a good worker. Go build a sleep hut for him. I just built an empty sleep hut. Really? 
Yes, it is done. The gods must find our tribe amusing. Good. Means we can grow further. Remember, all new exiles need their own sleep huts, but first, come close and listen. It is time that the tribe began to assemble resources for you. What do you have in mind? Perform a ritual to make sure we don't anger the gods. Then you must build a gatherer's hut. We will need more exiles to expand. Talk to the scout. I'm on it. So I perform a bit ritual, build the gatherer's hut, and then talk to the scout. I'm on it. Alright, so they're telling us about the scout again there, and that pop up. And luckily the scout leaves a nice little... You can see it on my compass up there. Nice little marker so he's always easy to find. In between when you get finding people, that is, when we talk to him, he'll disappear from the marker. Do you need new recruits? I do. I placed the map... I placed a marker on the map. Where I saw a bonfire, excuse me. Many thanks. So now we look at the map, and you can see that he placed a marker here. And so that's where we gotta go. And so we'll head over there real quick. This field also has... Um, little raccoons in it and so you can you can spear at them if you want or you can do like I'm about to do and see them disappear where the heck oh you went up here come here raccoon get some meat bones and leather off of them which I'm sure we'll have use for here before too long so let's see if we can cut this one off come here you Come here, you. Give me that leather. Hunter Master. What's this? Hey, look. We've just unlocked a bonus for grass. So now when they collect, they'll collect grass faster. That's good. So they're up here on this field. Before we go up here, let's see what's in here. There's some incense and some big leaves and some vines. I'll take it. And then we'll take the breakdown of the actual uh, base here. A lot of bamboo, a lot of grass, vines. Nice. I'll take it. And then the scout. Why would you make a campfire right? I guess it's warm. Make it right next to the lava like that. It's probably a little too hot, though. Alright, and then in, all you gotta do when you find him is you walk up on him, you talk to him. He'll say, what do you want? You'll say, join us. Tell him that we found a village nearby. You can join us if you're willing to work for your share. Speak to the elder. He awaits you in the cave. And then they'll say, I thought I would starve here. Thanks. I'll help as best I can. So then the rest of them, you can just kind of... They say the exact same thing every time, so I just tab through or, or space through real quick. And then they head over and join your tribe. And so there's three more coming to join the tribe there. So now we can head back to the scout. Do you need new recruits? I do. Mark a place on the map where I saw a bonfire. Thanks. Alright. Let's run over and get those new recruits. Alright, careful of the fall damage. You're sliding down a mountainside, I found it isn't as bad. It's just straight jumping off an edge. Here's another area that's really open and, and big for building. We could go to our map while we're here, and we could, like, put a marker here. So if we double-click, you have different markers down here you can choose from. So let's just say we do... Let's do this ring here. And then we can type in field like that and then let's say we just make it white and say you can also put it on your compass or you can put it in the world if you want let's confirm it and now we know that there's a field here that we can come to when we need area to build in because I feel like we're gonna have to expand a lot in this game but then that gives us the ability to you know hey know where there's a a nice big flat area to put in some people there's another Three villagers to join us, so quickly activate them. Same thing, so they just never say anything different. Just activate real quick, just tab through the spacebar. There, we've gained three more. This used to be a, a cook's house, but what's in here? 
Bamboo wood and incense. I'll take it. All right, and then we break it apart. There we go. Got a lot of wood on that one. That's nice. Very nice. Now you can see I, I'm carrying everything with me. There's no reason not to. You don't want to have to dig through your boxes any more than you need to. Okay, so now we head back. That puts us at, we look at our tribe, 11. We've got two sleeping places left. So let's do what we can with that 11. Um, they want us to perform the ritual gift of skill. So we have to go here to the uh, altar. So you can put another marker on there. Let's make it red. Let's put it uh, the compass and in the world. And now we can see it, which is really nice. Kind of gives you a, a guiding marker. That's where the where we're going to. Okay. We're where the temple is. Let's take a quick nap before we do anything else. Now, we want to do this ritual here. Right? That wants five incense and five talismans. That's going to teach us the gatherer's hut and the shaman's hut. This one here is a woodcutter that wants um, eight incense and ten talisman. This one is the toolmaker's hut that wants eleven incense and seven talisman. And then up here is the Travel to the Western Altar. I'm not really sure what that one does, but it's in our way to get to this one, which is the storage hut. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through this path here, I think. So I'm going to I'm gonna spend a few minutes here, and I'm going to bust out a bunch of talisman and a bunch of uh, incense. Because you can only do, like, eight at a time. Even though we have more than enough here, and it's only going to let us do eight at a time. So I'm going to spend a few minutes and build up probably 20 or 30 each here, and then we'll unlock some things. Something to point out here, as I've been crafting these, I'm up to 64 now, uh, I've noticed I've gotten a couple of raises in that skill. Uh, in the crafting skill. Speeds up time in which items are crafted, increases the max crafting queue. So you know how I said I can only do 8? Well, with two level ups in that, I can now do 10. So at level 9 I could make 9, at level 10 now I can make 10. So I imagine the amount you can make will be the level of your crafting skill. 73 incense and 78 talisman and I think that's going to be enough to finish out this first um, I don't know what do you call it like star configuration so we should be able to unlock everything in this row so let's do that real quick so if we start here we hit O we start with this guy here let's put that in done let it complete that gives us a gatherer's hut and a shaman's hut if we hit O let's go ahead and do the wood cutter that gives us a wood hutter wood wood hutter yeah wood cutter okay now we go here Fill them in. There's a toolmaker's hut. Alright. I think that just opened up an area for us. I'm not 100% sure what that one does, but I'm sure the Elder will tell us about it in time. Travel to the Western Altar. Alright, then we do this one for the storage. Burn those. Then we'll come over here, we'll unlock the wood totem, which this will improve, I think, our efficiency of the buildings that we have. We will experiment with that through the quest line. 
And then finally, the Blessing of Knowledge. This will give us a whole bunch of stuff. Clay and sand and incense and bone talisman and... Bam. Marketplace unlocked. Alright, so now we need to build this gatherer's hut. And I figure we'll try and keep as many of our buildings right here as we can. So if we come into here and we go to food... You have a cook's hut, you got a fisher's hut, so it's not in there. Production, there's the gatherer's hut. So we'll put the gatherer's hut here, right here is a good spot. Right next to this guy. And right there. That works. And then we do the thing that we do. storage and then of course it wants a thing right here bam done and now we've got uh i like working out of the tribe tab it's a little easier we've got seven people idle so i'm gonna put two of them on gathering okay and then these need knives in here so i think i have a couple extra knives in my pocket right now so we'll put two in here and then we'll throw some food in here as well. Um, I'll just put one in there for now. One of my food. Um, and then we're going to assign this to the village storage. As usual. And you can see right now they're building stone. The good thing I like about this is if you... Uh, if you do switch production... Actually, it's better in the tribe tab. So if you come in here and you do the switch production here, you can, you can kind of see how much we have in storage as you click through. You can see it shows up right here. So currently 0, 0, 0, 0. So we're going to keep them on stone. Keep them building stone for now. Build up a bunch of stone in there. And you can see how many knives we have. It, it's not actually in the the uh, building itself. This is going to be in our storage. So we've got four knives right now. And we're out of spears. So we're going to have to make some spears to get our fishermen going again here. But I'm not super concerned about that right now. Because we've got 134 food built up. So we're going to push forward. And then that'll deal with itself. But yeah, if you look at this, you can see they're producing stone. The other thing I want to do is I want to assign one more of these idle people to carrying. That way they transport stuff around between the different buildings a lot quicker. Um, and so that's that part. So now we have to talk to the chieftain again. Exile, the tribe is growing stronger. The gathering hut stands strong. Good. Remember to assign a gatherer to our storage. We will also need additional carriers. We cannot expect them to work with more than three huts at once. What should I do next? As you already know, the workers need an endless supply of tools. Once you begin to hire tool makers, we will have a complete supply chain. I'm on it. All right, so now it wants us to build a tool makers place, so. We come down here. Let's see if we can put in a tool maker hut. That's probably various. Yeah. Here's a tool maker's hut. We'll put it over here somewhere if we can find a spot. Out of that rock, I guess. Right. Come on, right. Back it up a little bit. I think I'd like it backed up a little bit. Right there is fine, right? That's a good spot. Okay, and now of course we just need a totem. And then if we go in here we can... Let's assign... Two people to the tool makers. Let's assign that one person back here to the cook's hut, and then we'll put um, one more on the gatherer's hut. That way they're gathering a little faster. Um, and then this needs stocked up on food rations to assign stores or deliver them directly to hut. This is going to need food. This is going to need to be decided what they're making. 
And in this case, we're going to have them make crude knives right away. Um, and they're going to need supplies. So at this point, because we're a little, you know, low on time here for them to get to that stuff, I'm going to go ahead and start putting things in here for them to get started. And then that'll, that'll get everything kicked off. So I'm going to do a shift right click or I'm sorry, control click. And we're going to do split the stack and give them some grass. And I'm going to do a control click on the sticks, split the stack, give them some sticks. Control click, split the stack, put them on rocks. Um, we're going to say, I think that's good for now. I think vines actually, let's give them half the vines here. And then that'll get them up and running on that. So now if we take a look at our tribe, and we're going to tell them to make crude knives, and to go back, they're actually missing hammers. So they need a hammer in order to work, these guys. So let's go ahead and manually make them some hammers here. We craft them some hammers, and I'm going to go ahead and do five hammers real quick. Okay. I'm going to toss these five hammers in storage for them. There we go. And now they should be running. They are actually waiting on the hammers to be delivered to them. So I'm actually going to hand deliver two. And we'll let our, our delivery people do the rest. Because there is a little bit of a time there where they have to walk stuff back and forth so bam and bam you've got two in there you have no food yet so I guess we can start by hand delivering some food got plenty of food in here so I'm gonna split that stack because I needed food myself and now if we control right click or control click We can say, give me five here. We'll put five in there to get them started. And so they will start constructing knives. Of course, it is nighttime. Let's take a quick nap till 7 a.m. Then everybody will be up and doing their thing. We're going to need to go get water real fast. Because we're thirsty. There we go. And so now let's take a look at our tribe set up and we'll see where we're at. <laughs> These guys are missing spears. Right? These guys, there are three knives available, so we're going to actually change our tool makers to making spears, I think. So we'll go back. And what we're going to do is, while we're in there, we're going to say, let's do a, a, a five cap. As long as we've got five of each tool, we should be good. That way we can see when they when they stop. They're out of resources. They need uh, stone. You know what? We haven't hooked them up to the village storage. That's why. That's why they were still messed up there. Because they weren't hooked up to the village storage. Well, that'll fix that. Now they can make spears. They'll make five spears. And then we'll get a message here that'll say production stopped. And we can change this to something else at that point. So these guys are stalled waiting on spears. The gatherers are getting stone for us and what we can do with that is we can set the production here again make it a hundred cap and then that way boom that's where you get a production stopped message and at that point we can then choose the next thing like give us some of that how about vines they'll collect this vines up to a certain point and then we'll just kind of keep looking in here and watching for that to happen Okay, while we let them work a little bit, we need to talk to the chieftain again. Exile, is the tribe growing stronger? I have built the toolmaker hut. Excellent. You might have noticed that one toolmaker is not enough. Fishermen, cooks, and gatherers all need different tools. So we'll also need more carriers. Indeed, our village storage will not be enough, though. You must build a storage hut so you can hire more carriers. 
Consider it done. All right, so now we need to add on to the number of carriers we have because the two carriers, are, as we've already seen, are going to be a little slow. So this is where we build the next thing, which is going to be, under various, a storage hut. And I'm going to put the storage hut up here if I can. Kind of keep it near our storage. Let's see if we can find a spot up here. Good flat spot somewhere. How about up here near the chief? We'll do it right there. Move it in a little bit. Right there. Boom. Done. That gives us more storage now. And at this point, we can hire some more people. So if we go into our tribe, we've got none idle right now. So I think what we'll do is we'll run and get some more people. So let's go see our scout. Do you need new recruits? I do. All right. So we marked a place on the map. Many thanks. And you'll notice I added a few more huts in between scenes there. So we have uh, a free, what is that? Eight more slots here over the population, so we can grab probably two sets of people real quick, so let's run and get some more people. We'll do this twice. Looks like my gatherers have completed collecting uh, vines, so now let's put them on... Um, let's see, they've got enough of all of these. Let's put them on big leaves. Get them working on big leaves, collecting us big leaves. Lots of herbs on this path he sent us on to get these guys. What is this? What did we just unlock? I don't think I recognize that. Herbs, I guess that's just herbs. Nice, okay, so we've increased herb production, which would make sense because this is a ton of herbs in here. And, in fact, we're going to go ahead and mark this where we're at. Using this is herbs. Green. And we're using that for supplies. So we know that's herbs here and there's grass there. Let me collect up everything in this little field. And then we'll get on to the guys. Okay, so it looks like the toolmakers are done with knives. Um, I would say hammers next, but it looks like we're okay on hammers. So let's go ahead and get them making hose, which we don't know anything about hose yet. But we will need to know about hose, but they're going to need wood for that. So I'm going to keep them on spears for the moment so that they keep the spears full. And uh, we'll figure that out in a few. Join us. Get to work. You too. Alright, that adds three more to the tribe there. So, what we can do now is... Sorry, we'll go into the T. Uh, we have three people. Plenty of... Two more sleeping spots left, so room for more people. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Max out our gatherer's hut with two of them. And then we will... Put the last on the storage hut. So let's run back and talk to the chief. All right, let's see what he's got to say here. Exile, the tribe is growing stronger. We have a storage hut. Excellent. We should be able to collect resources even when you're away. Hmm, I have an idea. My fellow Exile, do you remember the symbol from the vision? I think I have an idea what it was. There are more tribes on the island, but alas, years have passed and the contact was lost ever since the bridge collapsed. I think the gods want you to find them. Yes, make a ritual, then get started on the bridge. On it. Build a bridge holder. Please come back to me and talk when you've crossed the bridge. Okay, so we're going to do one more thing here before we call it today. And that is building us a wood chopper. We need a wood cutter. So we can start collecting wood, obviously. And since we unlocked that, we should have that... Here, no, where, production, 
production probably. Gatherer's hut, shaman's hut, woodcutter's hut. Let's put that here. Somewhere, if we can find a spot. Too much hill right there. I would like to keep the woodcutter's cut. The woodcutter's hut. Wow, words. Words are hard. Kinda close. Like right in here would be a good spot. How about like right here? We'll keep the, the woodcutter here on this side. And we put the bamboo totem in. And now I don't think we have any free people right now. They're going to need axes, so let's go ahead and have our tool makers start on some axes. Get those going. And um, let's uh, quickly get some, some new recruits here. They sure exile a lot of people. Join us. Join us. Join us. Alright, there's three new people. And now what we can do is we can take those three people and we can put them on the woodcutter's hut. And we'll hook this to the village storage for now too. So we're going to have to actually start changing this up a little bit. Because I think these three folks here aren't really doing anything because we have nothing hooked to their storage hut. So this is where this gets a little weird is that right now everything's hooked to the village storage and so everything is going there and that's fine but we'll have to find a way that we can split this up in a way that they're all getting food, they're all getting uh, tools, all of that. So that'll be something we'll have to figure out. And these guys, they can get us, they can get us wood, branches, bamboo, and they can make us totems. So now, we have all the things we need to be self-sufficient. Our tribes are collecting and building and getting all the things that we require. Uh, we've got plenty of food. We've got the two fishermen and the two cooks seem to be taking a good care of dealing with that. Keeping everybody happy. Um, we've got tool makers making us tools. We've got woodcutters getting us wood. So, next time, we will do that next quest there, which is going to visit the villagers on the other side of the island, I guess, or building a bridge. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, do me a favor, hit the like button. Uh, maybe sub to the channel if you want to see more like this. And, uh, drop me some comments down below. Uh, and until then, we'll talk later. Bye now.